Taking poetry to the streets, going out in public somewhere, and where at least people least expect to hear poetry, just have somebody start reading poetry. People got good responses. Woo! So it was fun. So Lake County Poetry Bomb 2010. Yay! We did it. Doing yeah, poetry in the least expected places. This is a poem. Wow. Closest thing to political called the state of the nation. My phone rang earlier today and I picked it up and I said, hello. And the man at the other end said, is this Janet Kuypers? And I said, yes it is. May I ask who's calling? And he said, yeah, hi, this is George Washington. I'm Samuel Jefferson and a couple other of us guys. We just wanted to tell you some stuff. And I said, why me? And he said, excuse me. I believe I said I was the one that wanted to do the talking. God, that is a problem with Americans nowadays. They're so damn rude. And I said, you know, you really didn't have to use language like that. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've been dead for so long. I lose all control of my manners. Well, anyway, we, we just wanted to tell you some stuff. Now, I know that we didn't have much of an idea what we were doing when we were starting up this country here. I mean, we didn't have much experience in creating bodies of power. So I can understand how our Constitution would be misconstrued. And then he put in a dramatic pause, and he said, But when we said that we didn't have a right to bear arms, we meant to protect ourselves from a government gone wrong, and not so that you could kill an innocent 16-year-old in an ATM machine for $20 cash at 6 p.m. And when we said freedom of religion, we included the whole notion of the idea of the separation of church and state, because freedom of religion could also mean freedom from religion. And when we said freedom of speech, we had no idea you'd be burning the flag or, or painting pictures of Christ doused in urine or photographing people with whips up their respective anatomies. But hell, I guess we've got to grin and bear it. Because if we ban that, the next thing they'll ban is books. And we can't have that. And I said, but there are schools that have books banned, George. And he said, oh. Yeah, people are going, yay, back at me when I was doing that. <laughs> it was fun. It was very fun. Half hour or so, which I'm like, well, here's another one. You know, that's what the point is. Where you least expect to hear it. Poetry.